Hey everyone! So today I thought I would uh, make a multiple flick up dirty pour. Um, I do not have white though, so I'm trying to get cells another way um, with black and iridescent colors. I also do not have fluorescent colors today, just metallic paints. So let's get started with that. So the black paint here is uh, the heaviest density, so I'm going to pour a little bit of black in the bottom of each cup. I do not have all that much black. I do not want uh, my painting to be all black because black has a tendency to take over your, the other colors. And that's not always nice. So after the black, the metallic paints they have close densities, so I'm going to put a little bit of each in the cups. Very slowly, so the silver stays on top. It's okay, I'll put more of this one in the others. This is an iridescent pearl. I really like the pearl. It, it's warm looking. It's a, very nice. After the silver and the pearl, the most heavy density paint I have is uh, the Crinacridone Violet followed closely by the Hansa medium yellow. Next time I will buy a Hansa yellow light, so it's a lighter density and there's more difference. I really like the contrast between violet and yellow. It's one of my favorite. It's going to be very interesting looking. I'm going to set up my canvas. Okay, we're in business. My canvas is set up and my pots are ready. So I'm going to just distance them like that. Yeah, how am I going to flip that? <laughs> So I just have a piece of cardboard here. Since I only have three, I think it's going to work nicely. Voila! Um, this one I'm going to pull a little bit here. Huh. I think I have to make a painting sometime where I just drag the pot all around. I think it's good. it could be nice. I'm going to zoom you in and lift the cups. Ready guys? Let's do this. Hmm, there's already a bunch of uh, little cells forming.
Now let's move this. add a small time lapse like about five minutes or so I do not think it's going to change a lot more uh, some cells have appeared in the purple here and the white here and well white the pearl and here and some nice lacing happened there um, I really like those lines I'm a, uh, I'm a sucker for those lines uh, linear paintings are was some of my favorite, I have to say. Uh, I can't wait to see how this one will dry because uh, metallic paints will often darken and become a lot more striking as they dry. Uh, right now we don't see them all that much, but trust me, as it dries, we will see them. Um, I also mixed my paint the regular way. If you want to see how I mix my paint, Check out the link in the description. I have a video where I explain in detail about pigment density and uh, how I mix my paint exactly with the ratios and everything. Um, for this one, I have to say uh, I'm really happy with the contrast uh, between the purple and the well, the violet and the yellow. Uh, it's one of my favorite color contrasts. Uh, really really like purple and yeah with the yellow it's really really uh, popping out um, I can't wait for it to dry and oh and this one um, has no fluorescent colors in there so yeah for me it was a bit destabilizing but <laughs> it's okay uh, I think it's really nice anyway uh, with the metallic paints too, I think that's enough. Uh, I did not want to overcharge it with uh, too many things. I wanted this small, simple canvas and that's what I got. I'm really, really happy with that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!